My name is Trevor Trotter and I am proud to be the first director of the new Columban region of Oceania as from today. So this is a big day for me, but it's also a big day for all Columbans. Not only are we celebrating the feast day of St Columban, but we're also launching out into a new future. The Columbans of Fiji, New Zealand and Australia are coming together to form the one region of Oceania. This means we will have about 50 priests, seven lay missionaries, a good bunch of seminarians, a great group of staff members and hundreds of supporters, all working together for the sake of the mission of God. This is great. We're all engaged in one big project. Over the past 20 years or more, as we know, there have been many changes in the church across the world. One of these changes is that there is a smaller number of Columbans globally so we have decided that by working together across these three countries, we will be better able to carry on our business. That business, of course, is to proclaim the gospel of Jesus wherever we are. The mission of God is what started the Columbans a hundred years ago, and the mission of God will continue to drive us forward into the future. Apart from myself, we have three other Columbans taking up new leadership roles today. In Fiji, there is John McAvoy, in New Zealand, Tom Rouse, and in Australia, Peter O'Neill. Ni Sambula, and hello, I am Father John McAvoy. I am the Columban country leader here in Fiji. Fiji, Australia, and New Zealand uh, will soon to form the new Columban region of Oceania. And I'm looking forward to working with our new regional director, Father Trevor Trotter. But of course, our priorities here in Fiji will remain somewhat the same. We will continue to foster vocations. At the moment, we have at least uh, 10 young men on missions in our Columban countries uh, where we're on mission. And we have 10 also students uh, who are on the way to missionary priesthood. And the same will go for our lay missionary program. We have sent at least 11 teams overseas already. And uh, we have a team uh, from the Philippines working here in partnership with us in our parishes as well as a team of four young ladies uh, from New Zealand, Tonga and Fiji in training and they will be missioned and sent overseas after Christmas. Climate change in the Pacific is a huge issue. Uh, we know that uh, at least uh, uh, 49 communities, 49 villages are relocating at this, at this present moment because of the rising sea levels. I think uh, our JPIC offices uh, will continue, both in Fiji, Australia, New Zealand, will continue uh, to work for ec ecological justice uh, for the peoples of the Pacific. And we look forward, of course, uh, to your support in the future. And to all our benefactors, I say thank you and God bless you. My name is Tom Rass. I am the Columban country leader for New Zealand. Today we are launching the new region of Oceania, which will bring together as one family or family our Columban sisters and brothers of Australia, Fiji and New Zealand. A principal task here of the Columban Mission Office in New Zealand is fundraising. We are grateful for the dedicated work of our staff and the remarkable generosity of our New Zealand donors. I would also acknowledge the support of those who join us for our daily Eucharist and those among whom we serve here in New Zealand as migrant chaplains and in other ministries. May God bless us as we connect across the waters, as we continue to give witness to Columban Mission within the new region of Oceania. Aroha nui, kakiti ano. Hello. My name is Father Peter O'Neill and I am the newly elected Columban Leader for Australia. In my role, I am responsible for raising awareness of Columban mission activities both here in Australia and overseas. I am looking forward to working with our co-workers at the Columban Mission Centre in Melbourne and the Columban Centre for Christian Muslim Relations in Sydney. With Fiji and New Zealand, I pray that we continue working together with people of other faiths under the guidance of the Holy Spirit to collaborate in the building of the reign of God. 
I would like to thank you, our benefactors, as it is your support that drives everything we do as Columban missionaries. Thank you. Guided by the Holy Spirit, the Catholic Church in each of our countries has a rich history. The Catholic experience in each place has been quite different, and so also our own Columban experience in each country has been different. However, we believe that by working together we will be able to make a greater contribution to the Church in Oceania. Because we bring our own different gifts to the table, we will be able to serve the people more effectively. Our mission is to proclaim the love of God for every human being and for every part of the universe. We'll do this the New Zealand way, the Fijian way, the Tongan and the Australian way. Through our different languages and cultures, together we will show the compassionate love of God for all. I would like to finish by asking everyone to pray for our new venture. The future is unknown, but we do know some things. We know that whatever we will do will be built on the past. We also know that as Columbans we have many very generous and compassionate companions walking with us. I would like to thank everyone who shares our vision for a better world. Thank you for your support and be assured of our continual prayers for you. Thank you all for attending our celebrations in these three countries today. And we are very encouraged by your presence and determined to do our best for all of the sons and daughters of God, especially those here in Oceania. Let us enjoy this day together and remember to ask St. Columban to pray for us.